What's up everybody out there in internet land? This is Jingles and this is my new CSC RX4 motorcycle. This is the first entry in my video blog about my adventures on this bike, the modifications that I do to the bike, as well as the repairs that I'll eventually probably need to do down the road. So far I've put on just under 200 miles on it in the first week, taking it from small rides and just kind of testing it out. I did take it on single track and pushed it out, bottomed out the front suspension on some really hard trail that was built for uh, two stroke 125s or 250ccs, maybe even a CRF 400, but this bike was way too big for it, but got through it. Um, tilted it over on its side. I landed on this side and just got a little bit of a, an abrasion here and a little bit of an abrasion on the back and the pannier as well but that is expected after falling over at about five miles an hour or so. Just stalled out the engine because I was feathering the clutch a little bit wrong. Anywho, modifications that I've done to it, I did add the CSC standard panniers onto it. Um, much better quality than I thought they would be. I heard online that they're Tupperware basically. I disagree. This is much stronger than Tupperware. Um, definitely not aluminum, however, it tends to work for everything that I need it for. And the fact that these crash bars extend out about an inch further than the actual case itself. I can imagine any tumbles that I get, this is going to take more of the abrasion than this corner down here. As you can see, that's exactly what happened. Right here, it took most of the impact and then a rock did hit it down here and it slid just a hair down below. So excited by that. I do have the tall top box that mounts onto the back mount here however that top box is uninstalled to do trail riding because you don't want the bike to be top heavy um and so far it's holding together really well i am super impressed by the quality on this bike super impressed by the cockpit and the comfort kind of give you some idea of myself i am six foot two about 190 pounds this bike does feel a hair small in comparison to a klr um but it does sit a lot more comfortably. I could see someone probably all the way down to five foot five, five foot four, easily fitting onto this bike and still being able to tiptoe it on the ground. Maybe even five foot three, still being able to tiptoe it, depending on your inseam. Um, but, oh, also can't forget, added the crash bar, the crash guard, which has already taken a couple rock hits into it as well. Um, and I'm still also bleeding in the brakes. They are not that strong as of now, but that is expected on any new disc caliper brakes. If you were not aware of that, you should be. You gotta bleed in your brakes correctly. Um, so take them lightly at first, take them downhills a whole bunch and really feather them. Um, that's how we're gonna break those buggers in. But anywho, I will have more rides after a period of time. And I am based in Flagstaff, Arizona. So as you can see, it is fall time up here. It's early November and i'm going to be riding all around the mountains up there up into moab utah monument valley bryce canyon down to southern to saguaro national park and i mean basically everywhere that's within 500 to a thousand miles anywho hopefully all are having a good day out there and i will continue vlogging as i go along here <laughs> 